you tell the committee whether or not one of the characters in this play was murdered by his comrades because of the party. Is that true? Of the Communist Party? Uh, no, it is not uh, not quite. Uh, because so he violated not... discipline, he was no. murdered by his comrades, didn't it? No, that is not, uh, not really so in the play. You will find when you read it carefully that like in the old Japanese play where other ideas were at stake, the young man who died uh, was convinced that he had done damage to the mission he believed in and he, agree, uh, he agreed to that and was ready to die in order not to make greater that damage. So he asks his comrades to help him and all of them together help him to die. He jumps into a abyss and they lead him uh, tenderly to that abyss and that's the story. Well, well, I gather from your remarks, from your answer, that he was just killed. He was murdered. He wanted to die. So they killed him? No, they did not kill him. Not in this story. They, he killed himself. They supported him. But, of course, they had told him it were better when he disappeared. <laughs> for him and his, for him and them, and the cause he also believed in up till the end. Uh, what did you tell the committee how many times you've been to Moscow? Yeah. I was, in, was invited to Moscow uh, two times. Who invited you? Uh, uh, was it the first time I was invited uh, by, by Vox, that is in a cultural, that's an organization for cul cultural exchange. Or, I, don't know. Uh, I was invited to show a, a picture, a documentary picture I had helped to make in Berlin. What was the name of that picture? Uh, the name is uh, uh, it's the name of a suburb of Berlin, Kule Wampe. K U H L E W A M P E. Uh, while you were in Berlin, did you meet one? I mean, pardon me. While in Moscow, did you meet uh, Sergei T R E T Y A K O V? T R E Y-A-K-O-V. Tretiakov. Uh, uh, Tretiakov, yeah. That is a, yeah, that is a, a Russian playwright. Yeah. He translated uh, some of my poems and I think one play. Uh, Mr. Chairman, International Literature, number 5, 1937, uh, published by the State Literary Art Publishing House in Moscow. He had an article by Sergei Petrikov, leading Soviet writer, an interview he had with Mr. Breck. On page six, it states, quote, I was a member of, this is quoting Mr. Breck, I was a member of the Augsburg Revolutionary Committee, Breck continued. Nearby in Munich, Levine raised the banner of Soviet power. Augsburg lived in a respected glow of Munich. Austin was the only military unit in the town. It elected me to the Revolutionary Committee, end quote. That's the call continued. He wrote the drum at night. This work contained echoes of the revolution. The work of the scathing satire on those who had deserted the revolution. His play, not the nominee, the first of the record plays on a communist theme, is arranged like a court where the characters try to justify themselves for having killed a comrade. When he visited Moscow in 1932, 
Rex told me his plan to organize the theater in Berlin would reenact the most interesting court trials in the history of mankind. For example, the trial of Karl Marx. The story of economics was on the record of Marx and Lynch, whose work became an indispensable part of his life. Rex studied the folks Lenin and Lenin as a great thinker and a great master of folk. According to Rex, the theater should act as both the spectators and the intellect. In traditional drama, the phrase the struggle of class and instinct. Rex demands that the struggle of class instincts be replaced with the struggle of social consciousness, of social conviction. He maintains that the situation must not only be felt, but explained, crystallized into the idea which will overturn the world. Rex, the artist, has an extremely broad and varied range. He has composed many ballads, songs, and choruses on the subject of revolutionary ruthlessness. His bookshelves, however, contain books of science and action and language. All that is true.
Yamino.
奥さんが入院している間毎日2枚に行きました